That's how we start the week off. And we're just getting started. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Are you? In this episode, we take nine ladies sailing in the Bahamas for a one-week yoga charter, snorkeling gorgeous reefs, exploring. Let's see what you got here. Catching our own food and even a little skinny dipping. Skinny dipping in the Bahamas! Theme of this week is allow yourself to have hope. As a matter of fact, we're both on our boat. We're both on our boat. All of these adventures happen right here in the southern part of the Sea of Abaco. I was using the toilet and it just didn't seem like it was flushing quite right. Man, just with a little time to spare, Thomas noticed the flapper valve was worn, it uh, ran its course. So boom, he took it all apart, switched the flapper valve out. I went in and got some PVC cement because we didn't have any and wham, bam, done. Just in time for the yoga ladies to show up. And we're about to jump in and uh, snorkel Mermaid Reef, boom. Mermaid Reef is usually the first place we take our guests after orientation to make sure everyone is comfortable in the water and that they have snorkel gear that works for them. That was a great first dive for the ladies that just started dumping. I don't know if I've ever seen a rainbow that that close. Perfect. Like, like yeah, that no, close. In terms of like the yeah, actual no. tip to tip. Yeah. Tip to tip and it's yeah. a double. You it's, got you got the double beautiful. and this the brighter one is going all the way down to the other what? side. Of this is insane. The life of a captain. Mm -hmm. That's just the way she rolls. What we have is we've got salt water coming somewhere. It's not from the hoses. And there's no apparent leak here. Just this, you know, tube already. It's uh, not even one day yet. So it's the life of a charter captain. Thomas is as good as it gets. We were talking uh, a couple nights ago doing dishes. You know, they say if you do, if you have 10,000 hours of experience at something, you're you're considered a master at it. He's been a captain since he was 17. He's been living on a boat. He's been chartering sailing across the gulf twice in one day he did that for many many years when he was younger so we calculated 50 years at an average of eight hours a day which you know as you, when you charter you're working 24 hours but let's just average 50 years that came out to a hundred thousand hours that's like 10x master oh yeah yep is that where i see it? just this the tiniest of bubbles but that, that that's epoxy that can withstand 600 degrees it actually says 600 degrees celsius which i can't believe what? it says 600 degrees celsius 1200 pounds so that's going to be your fix until we get back correct i think what i'm going to do is actually i'll either put in another type of core in there or i'll order another one of these and have one of the groups bring it down when you sanded it and cleaned it you can really see it now yeah well, it, was, it was hiding underneath paint Someday we will collide someplace where we can hide our space. Forget. So exciting for me to see first morning. First morning. Skinny dip. Skinny dip. That's you how we do you it. You rallied the girls. That's how we do it. And they just hopped on in. We follow her. That was awesome. <laughs> she gives us inspiration in so many ways. <laughs> cool. She lets us that's how we start the week off. And we're just getting started. Are you ready? Uh, <laughs> I'm excited. Your Madrasana translates to the hero's friend. Although we call it warrior pose. <laughs> Makes no sense. Yeah. <laughs> it's the hero's friend because he was Shiva's friend going to the party to find the king to cut the king's head off. Awesome, one more breath, back into that surfer's pose, reach forward, finding our forearm on the thigh, extended side angle. And Marie's yoga, that was uh, awesome. We just did like an hour and a half on the boat. She's good, she's real good. She's loose, she keeps it light and fun. 
and you're just laughing as you're doing it. She's really good about doing stretches that help you to poop. So they call her the poop whisperer, I think. She's been helping people poop since 82, I heard someone say. Wow, Linda. Wow. wow. Always good, always good in this alley. I have been eating very well. How much space do we have underneath the kill, Captain? Right now, six inches. When that reads three feet, we're aground. So you're at six inches. Four inches, three inches. Just so relaxed, three inches below the kill. They're making a Saganka Highway is what they call it. Saganka Highway is when, well, let me just show you for yourself. We're just kind of right off the bottom of the, the, the sandy bottom and we say that's how we clean the bottom of our keel. So it's all good. About ready to do a drift dive. This is where we got a few conked the last time and the sun is out, the water's flat, it's crystal clear. This is what Thomas calls dry snorkeling because it's like snorkeling, but you're on the boat. You don't have to get in the water because it's so clear. You can see all the way to the bottom, you can see all the fish. We're at Iron Key, and this time we get to go the other way because the tide's coming in, so it's gonna be like a whole new dive now. Where'd you take us, Captain? I took them to the conch store. I sell conch here for $2.50 a piece. But you can bargain with it. She's going to get you one? It's not a fixed price. You can bargain. Linda, we find something like that, they don't want them. I'll take them back to the store and get them nice. Where's the beautiful, beautiful that, one? That is oh, let me see what you got there. That is a that, that, those colors are crazy. <laughs> I love this. You taking that home, Cass? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. These ladies are into seashells and sand dollars. They're gonna they're gonna be like checking bags just to to take their shells and conch shells and sand dollars. Yeah. What do you got? Whoa. No, I don't. Thank you. Though. Isn't she gorgeous? Beautiful. She is beautiful. Let's see what you got here. Those look pretty good. Show me the the insides of this. About this one, this is one oh. I did that. Oh, that's gorgeous too. Well, they stink. Good find. We'll wash them out. Yeah, we'll wash them. Oh my gosh. Is it a male or a female? It's a boy, it's a baby boy. Well, you can tell. He's a little youngster. Wow, look at that. Okay, then what we do is we cut the skirt off. Is a guy wearing Thomas is so good at cleaning a conch and also making it entertaining and fun and making it a learning experience. The ladies are into this. I think every one of them, they're just riveted with this conch cleaning experience. Every one of them was game to try the raw, fresh conch just right out of the shell, slice it with the knife. They were all like, 
Oh, well, that's pretty good. I think it tastes like sushi. And uh, they're just loving it. And we're filling up the freezer with conch for more fritters. Why don't you tell us what the double rainbow means? I can't ask Annie. She just read it on the phone. It's supposed to be it's supposed to be a symbol of prosperity and abundance, and it's supposed to mean you're on the path to success. There's a spiritual significance. There is. And we've seen two. And we've now. seen two. Two double rainbows on this trip. That means the whole and crew. And is that on... means that that means all everyone on this crew, everyone on this uh, retreat Me is, too. is Me destined too. for good things, good luck, prosperity in this new year. Period. We're excited. We're manifesting it. <laughs> it's like, where did the sunset what? go? <laughs> Anne Marie, what, what do you have planned tonight uh, for the, so for tonight the ladies? We're, we're doing uh, I Rest, which is an integrative restoration yoga nidra. It's the sleep of the yogi. We're going to do a meditation for sleep, and everyone should fall asleep within 20 minutes. You may wish to elevate your legs slightly. The ladies started the next day by sailing off anchor, hoisting over a thousand feet of halyard to get all the sails up with no electric winches. They got their workout in. Okay, okay nobody in the back there. I'm going to. Yeah. We got one. <laughs> one in the back. This is my new hat. I'll have to introduce you to the fellow that gave me this hat, named Joe. Joe. <laughs> Angel gave me this hat. He says it looked better on me than it did on him, and I tried to explain to him everything looks better on me than it does. <laughs> he didn't believe me, but <laughs> that's the way it is. <laughs> the hat definitely looks better on him than it did me. And quite possibly, quite possibly everything does. I mean, that's up for you guys to decide. Maybe we'll do like a fashion shoot, you know, where we'll we'll put stuff on and we'll kind of walk up and down the catwalk, and you guys can grade us, but. Look, we got the, the ladies sailing. They actually got themselves sailing. They all pulled the sails and we got about a couple knots of wind. We're bobbing at about one knot here. But we're sailing. And I think the wind's gonna pick up eventually. We're thinking 10 to 15, but we got full sails and the girls are having a, a great time. Look at the beach over there. But you can see the sails are just kind of like... Ladies and gentlemen, Anne Marie is sailing wing on wing right now. Wing on wing, baby. You gotta know what you're doing to go wing on wing. You cross the wind, sails go <laughs> banging right. to the other side. Yeah, just another day. All right, what are some tips and tricks for people that want to sail wing on wing like a pro? Well, the first thing you want to do is close your eyes. <laughs> Hold your breath. <laughs> and just wing it. <laughs> All right. If, I want you to try that and let me know how it works out. You heard it. You heard it from the pro herself. Well, the advanced move, you do it with one foot. Oh, with one foot in the tree pose. <laughs> Wind's picking up. This wing on wing's got us going like five, almost six knots. And when you're going downwind like this, it doesn't really feel like you're going that fast, but. Um, man, this boat is making wing on wing look way too easy. When I tried it a few times on my boat, we were a little bit like, okay, wing on wing, this is serious, don't cross the wind, the boom's gonna go smash into the other side, it's gonna get dicey, but, you know, Anne Marie's like closing her eyes, doing it on one leg, and she's making it look really easy. All right, Thomas has got Anne Marie going a little more to starboard, I think he's gonna, he's gonna attempt to jive here. There's like a little dock. It looks like a little boat. Go straight for that little thing that's right off the edge of the island. Okay. Hi. <laughs> that's a lot of line. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> He's got it six to one. That's why. So for every one foot, or for every six feet, you move the blind one foot. What was your favorite part? The turtle. The turtle. Hands down. <laughs> he hangs out and loves divers, apparently. Especially ladies. He's like, ah, I'm picking up the chicks. He's a hustler. They're all they're all after me. They're all trying to touch yeah. me. <laughs> oh, he's like, grabbing at me. Dude, he's trying to get close to me. I'm going down. Yeah. It was so chill. Uh, oh. He was chill. It was beautiful. Oh, yeah. It was beautiful. That was so cool. It was really cool. Sandy Key Reef at the southeast end of the Abaco Sea is my favorite place to snorkel. This little guy's name is Scratch, and usually you will get to see him. He'll come up and say hi, swim with you, and he is uh, definitely a big reason why this is my favorite place to snorkel, but the reef is also so beautiful, and you see so much sea life here at this dive. Eagle rays have become one of my favorite creatures to encounter, and you'll usually see at least a few each time you come to the Sandy Key Reef. Woo! <laughs> Soon, the ladies find themselves navigating across razor-sharp rocks to get around to the Atlantic side of Linyard Key. Look at these itty bitty guys. Oh, they're so small. This is the perfect beach to hunt sea glass. Glass bottles smash against the rocks and the broken glass are worn by the sand and the water into little gems. Ah, scatter. We scared them all. They were all together, like. Oh, around. they were right here. Like they were having like a powwow right here. Yeah. <laughs> what There's in the? There's an island that we. Go They're all just the like hanging out. That's so cool. Yeah, because they all cluster they up. Cluster like that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this little guy. What? Yeah, yeah. I know. What's up, dude? Oh, These guys are so cool. Look at the big guy in the middle. Uh huh. He might be the leader. <laughs> yeah, probably. All right, here's what we're going to do, boys. <laughs> you go that way, I'll go this way. And, yeah, so hermit crabs, you would think, would be antisocial, but these guys are really mixing it up. They're having a party on the beach. Uh -huh. yeah. This guy's rolling over. Okay, we got three. Oh, wow, she, she's got it down. Thomas is teaching me his techniques how to cook steak when you have like 20 people right now we're cooking for nine beautiful ladies well 12. well 12 we're cooking for ourselves as well so he's got a whole system here you start with the well done you start with the, the most done ones first you yeah. put them on and they'll be the last ones to come off but that way you can get them spitting out real quick food's been good i don't know if you can tell but i'm actually putting on a few pounds out here that's why i look like i do without a shirt fit in shape but with a nice little belly that says I eat well <laughs> these are mediums it's not done enough I cook it some more month Okay, this is medium to medium rare, but it's a medium, but check it. It's a medium to medium rare. In six years of boat life, I, 
I just usually don't swim naked. I mean, I know a lot of people on boats are doing that and that's their thing, but Anne Marie, she really just sets this vibe and just everyone just kind of follows her lead and when she goes for it, you're like, oh, all right, well, she's having a blast and you're like, ah, let's, let's just, let's go for it. Let's go, baby. So, boom, that happened. All the ladies are dressed to impress. We're gonna cap off this charter with a nice, beautiful uh, dinner, and then we're sailing back to Marsh Harbor tomorrow, and that's the end. It goes so fast. People are gonna be wondering, who are, who are these guys, Thomas and Joel? Who are these two? Just a couple legends, no big deal. Nothing to see here. It looks good. Right? Is that the first time you Yes! Look at that. So I'm gonna push down, take a breath, and then release a little bit. <laughs> Visualizing the waves crashing onto the land. Just gently supporting our sisters. Thanks, Joel! Thanks, Joel! Love you. Thanks, dude. Hey, y'all. It's Anne Marie with Anne Marie's Yoga, and we are wrapping up our retreat here in the Bahamas on our sailboat, the Saganka. After seven years of leading this retreat, I finally had a first mate, Joel. He has been awesome. It's been such an incredible experience having him aboard, having him part of our crew, practicing yoga, and um, just sharing the space. So been a great week thanks Joel great to meet you great to hang out with you and if you want to contact me look me up social media Facebook Instagram and uh, I'll catch you guys next time so anchored there for the night and if I remember right early in the morning the mosquitoes tore you guys up <laughs> that was the mosquito day Captain Thomas sends the ladies home with a map. He draws the track that we took and he also marks all the places that we stopped along the way. There he goes. Ooh, yeah, look, look, look. Get that crate. Oh, he's like, I don't want no fruit. Where's the meat? <laughs> Where's the meat? 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 Look at my new hat, huh? Huh? Ah. Now that was a week I will never forget for the rest of my life. Cool group, huh? Yes. That was fun. Fun week. Bye, ladies. From now on, it's Boy Scouts. That's it. Here we go, baby. You can never see if they're waving or not. Yeah, there you go. Bye. Okay. What a week. That will be the end of adult charters. The private charter experience is no more. We are going into Boy Scout mode. And this is all going to be new to me, but it's going to be totally different. I cannot wait. They're on their way today. We will be picking them up in a few hours. So I still have a few things to do. Yesterday was a big work day turnaround doing laundry. I'm really proud of myself because I went down and scraped the entire boat and this is a lot of boats. Saganka is clean. She's ready to sail her pants off. She's smooth. There's no fuzz. There's no barnacles. The, the rudder, everything is just spotless down there. Thomas has a compressor so that made it easier so I could stay down you know and just do my thing. It took me like almost four hours. <laughs> it's a lot of boat but um yeah, feeling good and I want to share with you a little inspiration. Let yourself have hope. 
Let yourself get excited for what's to come. But don't hold on to it. Don't expect it to happen. Be grateful for what you have right now and the moments that you've already got to share with people that you love and people that you've just met. And hold on to those memories and be grateful for what you have right now in this moment. But allow yourself to get excited for the future and let fear of failure or fear of things not working out or fear of what if this or what if that, let all that go. And that's my, my words of wisdom for you. That's something that I learned this week in Hopetown. These are the tales of Boab.